Hi guys, welcome to our brand new Dental Society YouTube channel for Barton London School of Dentistry. My name is Ali and I am the dental student president for the Dentsoc. And today I'm here with Sultan. Sultan is one of the staff members here and beloved by many of our students, both current and past. We're going to be doing the first staff profile interview for our channel. So let me introduce Sultan to you. Correct me if I'm wrong. You are the student liaison administrator for the undergraduate dental students and you're also the program coordinator for the DCT trainees for North East London. That's correct. That's correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Brilliant. So that's enough from me. We'll uh, be talking to Sultan now and finding more about him. Thank you. My name is Sultan Yudin. Um, I'm born and bred in East London. Um, to be precise, I was born in Myland Hospital, which is around the corner from here. Uh, lived in Hackney for almost 18 years and then moved back to uh, this side of the East End where I'm uh, living in Bethnal Green currently. So I live in Bethnal Green, work in Whitechapel. So basically my whole life's in the East End. I'm the Students Liaison Administrator and also the DCT Programme Coordinator for North East London. Um, I've been only doing the DCT Coordinator post for the last four years, but my main role is the Liaison Officer part or the Liaison Administrator part for the undergrads. I've worked in the dental hospital for 16 years now. Um, I started off as a reception clerical staff and became the Student Liaison Administrator in 2003. started in the old dental hospital and now I'm in the new. Um, so I've been here a very long time. My advice to the dental students would be to be very organised. I think organisation is very key, uh, especially with the dental uh, course, because you have to manage patients, you have to liaise with staff, you have to liaise with clinicians, knowing who your patients are, having their details so you can communicate with them. Have a diary, I know I keep on saying that, but you need to get yourself a diary. It will help organise your timetable as well as patient information. Top tip wise would be be respectful um, and know who you're talking to. So if you approach a consultant, know how to approach them and what to say. Especially if you go and approach a consultant, best thing to do is introduce yourself. Tell them who you are and what you want from them instead of just barging in and just asking for something. Would you rather have a horn like a rhino yeah. or have a trunk coming out of your face like an elephant? Ooh, I think the naughty side tells me go for it with a horn, uh, but trunk could be useful. I'll go with the horn. The horn? Yeah, it's okay. out, away from this pretty face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One of the hilarious stuff uh, I keep on hearing, and it keeps on coming year after year, is can I have a finals case with loads of stuff on it and has complete dentures? Meaning, if they've got complete dentures, they don't have no teeth, so what else could they be having? So, Sultan, um, we all know, a lot of people at this dental school know about one of our famous alumni, the a guy who's called Dr. Milad Shadri. He's got a more common name that we people are more familiar with. Who is this man? He's known as the singing dentist. Uh -huh. So as some of you or most of you would know, he actually came here, studied here and graduated from here. Um, and now is famous worldwide. And you were working here when he was a student, right? Yes, that's correct. Um, I think he graduated in 2004. So uh, any funny stories or any fun facts about him that you can share with us? Well, all I can say is I have a picture, if you want to zoom in. Um, the difference between him then and now is he had hair and now he doesn't. <laughs> Otherwise, he's still the awesome guy he used to be. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all the past and present students. Uh, they've made my life easy. Uh, as a liaison officer, I'm the middleman between the students and the patients and the staff. So without the support from the undergrads and the clinicians, uh, I would have not been able to do my job properly. Sultan, I just wanted to say thank you very much for everything that you've done for us students. You're invaluable to everyone here. We're going to miss you a lot when you go and um, honestly I guess the saying is so true, you, you don't know, you don't realise what you've got until you haven't got it anymore. So we're going to really miss you, so on behalf of all the students I'd like to say thank you and I'd also like to say thank you for agreeing to take part in this video. We've really enjoyed talking to you and finding more about you as a person, so thank you. Thank you very much for having me and it's a pleasure to be the first person to do this video. So if you like this video guys, give this a thumbs up. 
subscribe to this channel and follow them on Instagram.